Let's look at another example for creating a component. This component we're going to call it Compose and its responsibility is to have two input fields and we're just going to read values from it. That's it. That's all it's going to do. So as an exercise, if you want to go ahead, go ahead and create the component and set a title value and um, come back and see how we can do it together. So again, we'll just need our file. So in the components folder, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call that compose. And in here we need two files, one for the component itself and the other one for its template. So compose.tpl.html. So that's going to be the template for the component. And this is basically very similar to this. I'm just going to copy that over. I'm going to paste it here. So the name is compose instead. And the class is compose. And this is going to have a title. And in the constructor, we're just going to set the title to I am composer. Let's get rid of this and let's get rid of the empty spaces. Now let's open up the template and let's just put some basic HTML here. We're going to be using this uh, input later. Uh, we'll get back to that. But first, um, let's uh, import this into the messenger component. So again, in order to use one component inside another one, you need to do two things. First, you need to include that as a directive in the view. So in this case, we want to include compose inside messenger. So in messenger, we need to specify uh, the directive that we want to use. And because components are directives, as well. So essentially a component is a directive plus a, plus a template. So because of that, you can specify as a directive here. So compose is the name of our component that we need to include. But first we also need to uh, import it. So now we have access to our component. So that's step one. We include it as a dependency or a directive that this view needs. And then we need to we need to include that in the messenger template. So in this template, we can just say compose. And that's all you need to do. So now if we go back and save all these files, and we should be able to see the section for the composer. So again, this was another review. Um, the structure for creating components are very simple. Components extend directives. Uh, that's why it makes sense to include a component here because every component is a directive uh, as well. Um, so we specify that here uh, in the view and you would use uh, this component inside of this view. So now we're inside the messenger view. And if you use that here, then it automatically gets registered and you can create interesting uh, component composition.